Hey guys, welcome back to the Respiratory Therapy Resource Center. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I think you're gonna get a lot out of it. It's about the Regeneron Antibody Cocktail. So before we begin with the video, if you could subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it so I can keep making videos just like this one for your continued enjoyment. Also, don't forget to check out respiratorytherapyrc.com for any updated eBooks I've uploaded, as well as other videos, other products that I've uploaded, okay? So without further ado, let's begin talking a little bit about the Regeneron antibody cocktail. So Regeneron is a biotech company that has created several medications over the past 30 years since the beginning of the company in 1988. Some of the medications include Inmazeb for Ebola, Alia blocks blood vessel growth, other ones like Dupixent. I know I've seen commercials about Dupixent, anti-inflammatory agents. These are some of the few medications that they've created. So about the study so this study is going to be in the link description so if you want to see the whole study you can click on the link in my description and see where i got all my information i just wanted to post a video about the key takeaways for you so who were they studying this you know antibody cocktail on so non-hospitalized and hospitalized patients who had COVID-19, right? So that's who they were targeting in the study. So what were they trying to test? They were trying to test the RGN cov 2 antibody cocktail, right? When? When was the study published? September 29th of 2020. So again, if you want to read all the details on the study, the link will be in the description. And how is going to be one of the most important pieces that we talk about, right? So a little bit more about REGN CoV-2, what's in it? So it has two monoclonal antibodies. So because it's two and not one, we call it a cocktail, right? Because it has more than one monoclonal antibody type in it. So how? How were they testing it? What were they doing in order to achieve the antibody cocktail they chose. So Velocimmune mice are genetically engineered mice that they use that have the same immune system as a human because that's how they genetically engineered them to be genetically identical and have the same immune system and immune response mimicking a human, right? So they also took human antibodies from people who already had COVID-19 and were testing which ones were the most effective at non-competitively binding to the spike protein. So the spike protein is the antigen that they are trying to bind antibodies to. So that, along with all the other antibody therapies, vaccines, the spike protein is the antigen of interest that they are trying to attack or bind to because the spike protein on coronavirus is what is binding to the ACE2 receptor on human cells, and that's how it's infecting cells. So if you can interrupt that action, then you won't be able to have COVID-19 binding to the ACE2 receptor, and you won't have further growth and spread of COVID-19 in the human body. So that's the point of interest is the spike protein, right? So who benefits? Who is going to benefit from this REGN cov 2 so patients who have not yet mounted a proper immune response against COVID-19, they're going to benefit. So this can also be used prophylactically and therapeutically. Prophylactic before you actually get super, super sick and have a full-blown you know, COVID-19 infection, right? And therapeutic after you have a fully-blown COVID-19 infection. Also, they used it on hospitalized and non-hospitalized patients, right? So these are the people who are going to benefit, practically everyone, prophylactically and therapeutically, so that should make us all feel better. So all of these biotech companies are trying to achieve one common goal, and that's create antibodies that will target COVID-19 for destruction. And there's many ways you can do that. And some of the three main ways you may have heard about include convalescent plasma, vaccines, and monoclonal antibodies. So convalescent plasma are antibodies taken from someone who's already been infected with COVID-19, who's already generated an immune response and recovered from COVID-19, right? So we take those antibodies out of their plasma and we inject them into other people. That's one way, right? Vaccines stimulate antibody production in humans without actually having to get fully sick with COVID-19 infection, right? Monoclonal antibodies are laboratory engineered antibodies made in the lab 
and then from there you can mass produce them. Of course, all of this stuff is very complicated, complex, and takes time to make sure you're absolutely right before you inject people with all of these vaccines, before you hand out all these medications like candy, right? So that's why we study, that's why we make sure that these things are properly studied and that they're gonna be the most bang for your buck. They're gonna be the most effective ones. That's what we want, the most effective ones to be mass produced. So like I said, all of these things have one common goal, get antibodies inside humans and target COVID-19 for destruction. Whether you're targeting them for destruction or inhibiting their binding to the ACE2 receptor, you're still inhibiting the infection from progressing. So that is the common goal. And I really hope you guys got something out of this video. I hope you learned something new today. And I hope you come back to my channel for more videos every single week. And I hope you have a great day. <laughs> have a good one. Bye.